Hey everybody, John Be Good here. Hello and happy Sunday everybody. Let me slide my tandems forward here. Because I got it slid all the way to the back. So today is Sunday, August 4th, 2019. Temperature is 84 degrees. All right, Grace and I are empty here in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, and we are now heading for Mount Crawford, Virginia. Local time is 1039. We have been assigned to pick up a load out of Mount Crawford, delivering to Oconomowoc, Wisconsin for Tuesday morning. I know, I know, don't show up until, you know, four hours before your appointment. I remember. Thanks for the reminder though. All right, let's see if the security guard needs our bills. Hello. Hi. Empty. Okay. I'll be right back. That since we they have us back in with the door closed, they opened the trailer doors from the inside, and we were not even allowed on the dock. You would think that uh, they would save a lot of time by not inspecting the trailer as they go out. But that's uh, just the way they do it. Oh, 
so bright. Ah, there's something I'd like to share with you guys. Yesterday, yesterday was a, uh, how do I put this? Yesterday's driving part was easy. No, no backups, no hangups, no accidents, no tickets. Time was relatively average. But yesterday I was I was struggling in the uh, the spir spiritual realm of things. The war between good and evil in me was raging the whole time yesterday. As the Apostle Paul put it, there was a thorn in my flesh that I have prayed and prayed and prayed over and over and it took all of my strength and, and prayer and my faith to endure it. It was hard. It was hard. To, obviously, I'm not going to tell you what it was. But it wasn't good. It was not good. It was a... It was a desire of selfishness. And I think that for the most part, I felt a bit I felt the thorn in my flesh because I was being selfish, I guess. And I prayed, I prayed, I prayed, I prayed. at the end of it all the Lord said my grace is sufficient <laughs> the more I was tempted the more I was sinning the more grace abound but I didn't. I didn't send deliberately. I didn't want to send because I wanted to. It just something deep in my heart that just uh, the sinful nature in us that will always be with us when we are in this life. Sometimes emerges. But through it all, through it all, God's grace is amazing. And yes, it, it really did help. It, he helped a lot. Now let me ask you this, whether you're a believer or not, how do you deal with your struggles? I'm sure you have your own demons that you gotta fight with sometimes. 
how do you deal with your demons? Putting it in a worldly passion that way. For those of you who are non-believers, can identify to it. How do you deal with something you absolutely feel that you don't want to, but you can't turn away from? You know you shouldn't be doing. You know you shouldn't be feeling it. How do you deal with that? I guess that question is for the non-believers. Wait, 
Waves Foods is... Seventy miles to Mount Crawford, Virginia, by way of 78, 81, all the way down. One hard thing twice. Now, this has got to be Allen now, by now. We'll see you guys a little bit. Peace. Hey everybody, John and Begin here. Hello and good afternoon. Greetings from Mount Crawford, Virginia. Local time is 2.56 Eastern Time. Temperature is 86 degrees. We are picking up here at White Waves Foods. You know, today is Sunday, so... I'm hoping they're not that busy. But then again, that's what I said last time, and it took them a long time. We'll have to wait and see, right? Stop for the stop sign. Otherwise, people on the internet will blow up. Oh, good grief. There's no place to park here. Hey everybody, all right, local time is 426. We have been assigned to door 233. 
I was asleep when they called. We have been asked to line up to the door but not yet open the door so Denison, Iowa.
I wish you would back it up a little bit so you won't be sticking out so long. Peace.